Well, for those who are watching, it's the Nanatsu no Taisai chapter 1980. For me, the Angry Anime fan, the Despair Reviewer, first of all, we saw, we see a pretty scary looking cover with most of the Ten Commandments apparently eating. Is that a giant pig or is it a dragon? Uh, no, I think it's a dragon. And then again, it's been confirmed that Seldris and Estarosa's favorite food is dragon meat. Although Moonspeed seems to prefer human souls. So yeah, but that's only the cover. As in next time, uh, Meliodas, a changed man, fired a, fired a full counter on Moonspeed and... The, 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 the. It seems their magic has vanished, although it's not really confirmed if they had died. Of course, uh, Frauderin continues to taunt all the humans, although he was shocked about sensing all this. And so Hendrickson has actually returned to this place, despite the, everything he has done. And, say, and Dogart, the, from the Azur of the Sky, of course wants to take revenge. And given Hendrickson's change, which, by the way, has not been placed on TV troops, mind you, which I dislike, he has changed too much, you should make a new section of him, TV troops. Uh, he says that uh, once the everything is over, you may do as you wish. Of course, uh, Gilfander and um, Hauser tries to escort many people out there, although Gil Frost looks strange. And it's actually in this chapter is revealed on who they, uh, who they really, who Gil Frost really is. But we'll get to that in a short while. And it's also revealed that, uh, well, uh, I guess somehow, or somewhat, uh, that Grey Lordo is not, uh, well, I guess it's not exactly confirmed if it, uh, if it even had a gender. But apparently Grey Lord is not, is a female. Some one sort of more like uh, Fraudin describes it as an anomaly of a high class demon born from the lesser classes. The rarest of rare species that's earned the right to be called a queen form. And that, uh, after all, Grey Lordo have uh, masks that is all, all of the, of the Grey Demons and all of them. And it's revealed that she, her, I guess hers, favorite deal is to, to deal with her offsprings which is the great the demons and it is also confirmed she is the youngest of all the ten commandments apparently one of her abilities is capturing humans and place them in eggs that were similar to Hendrickson's experiment only a uh, way safer Hendrickson's experiment by was by drinking demon blood and if compatible with humans they would gain dark powers and great and greater strength however uh, Fraudrin describes this as a true product, something like uh, the humans are trapped in demon-like cocoons, which once uh, finished, they will be, or hatched, they will no longer be humans, but become uh, uh, red demons and grey demons. Of course, the Azor Sky frees two eggs, but uh, Fraudrin just taunts them because th there was not done explanation, because uh, just freeing them is not... Uh, enough because even then they will still become demons so uh, and and it's not even easy finding their uh, finding their fox bub because apparently according to Fraudin they do have bubs I mean those uh, bulbs that uh, they removed in order to purify the demons uh, uh, even no from the worst no from the demon generations or the reactors but according to Fraudin uh, he is gonna have to do a lot better and so Dogart in his anger just uh, kills those two three demons but in in exchange dies too all from uh, Grey Lord's uh, commandment thou shall not kill it was hinted that uh, whoever kills in her presence will happen something else and now it's confirmed and again I do not like this that's way too overpowered and it's also and also there is something very wrong with that commandment I mean again the commandments powers are way too strong 
and I'm not talking about their power level, I'm also talking about their commandments at whole, because it is confirmed that uh, their side effects are too strong, and not even themselves can defy them. However, it's obvious that the demon lord gave it to them, believing that they will never submit to them. And, uh, and that's true. But what I'm trying to say to you is, um, if Grey Lord's commandment is, Thou shall not kill, and everything that kills in her presence, and, uh, or as he, she says it, anyone who dares takes another's life in her presence, will have their own time and their own life force stolen from them. The one thing I cannot understand is, then how the hell could they kill Meliodas? Uh, and also, how the hell could Fraudrin attack the Azur Sky? Granted, they did not die that time, but still. And how could uh, Derere kill um, Denzel? It, it doesn't make sense for me. Is it just... Is, is the commandment only if Grey Lord kills someone? And if someone kills when they are near her? Or is there something else? Either way, it's an uh, it's ultimate despair. As uh, uh, Fraudrin only says that you can either be killed by the Quintesses who has been reborn as demons or be slaughtered by your uh, Quintesses uh, reborn as demons. Forfeit your life. And so it seems all is hopeless. It's then that Gilfor Frost reveals her true face. Yeah, turns out that Gilfrost uh, is a lady. And uh, it's Vivian. Okay, did not see that one coming. All in all, it, ex it made perfect sense. But it was also... Did not... S mm, a single bit saw that coming. Why didn't I see that coming? Well, um, first of all... I thought for sure Guild Frost was uh, a spawn, I mean, a half-brother, but then again, everything up until now makes perfect sense, and I cannot understand why I didn't see this coming. Vivian is obsessed with Guild Thunder, that we know. So why would someone just appear who is named Gil Frost? Obviously someone who has an obsession with someone other named Gil. And also, why does that Gilfrost look just like Thunder? Because Vivian isn't so in love with Gil Thunder. Ugh. And I guess that's why Gil Thunder always gelled at Vivian in Gilfrost form, because he realized who Gilfrost really was. And that uh, necklace and everything else. So Vivian teleports uh, Gil Thunder away because she doesn't. Uh, want uh, Gil, Gil Thunder to die which is um, both selfish in a way as the eggs fall and almost hatch uh, Gustav tries to freeze them it's then that the most strange thing happen and a stronger ice spell appears and it attacks Fraudrin note that person does not die uh, and the one who appears is none other than Merlin, who has frozen all the eggs so that they don't hatch until she dispels it. So she saves everything. As Fraudrin can only look in shock, because last time we saw from her, she was in stone by Garan's commandment. But according to Merlin, she has made some few uh, uh, touches on her experiments, and now Ten Commandments, it's time I made you my personal little guinea pigs. I'm glad she is um, back, but I have at the same time believe is that isn't that an illusion? Because if anything, Marilyn has been the biggest disappointment of all the seven deadly sins so far. Because well, she is, was taken out before she could even do anything good. But also, even if she brags, she's gonna make all the Ten Commandments her guinea pigs. Her power level is still so much weaker than theirs unless of course she somehow has found a way to become stronger the way she i mean she looks very very confident and the strange thing is Frauden was actually shocked at this imposing magic power note imposing magic power 
And also another thing that is strange, that Fraudin described Grey Lord as someone with no magic power, which according to the data books is totally wrong. It has everything but... Uh, no, it is... I think the data books said that Grey Lord has the highest magic of all the Ten Commandments. Or was that Mera Skyla? Either way, if Merlin really is revived, then I am very glad for that. However, will there be a counterattack? I doubt it. Although next time's chapter is called The Insatiable, Insatiable Woman. Is this gonna be a hint towards her gluttony sin? There is very... There is some very big hints after all that uh, uh, Merlin is someone who is very greed with gluttony. And that gluttony is the fact that she hungers for new knowledge all the time. So I guess it's gonna be something like this, huh? Are we going to see hope or are we going to see despair? Give me your false if you have any.